It is very hard to forget the mind. The thoughts come bubbling up and bubbling down and goes round and round like a merry-go-round all the time. At one moment you're thinking what you're going to cook for supper and next moment you're thinking, oh, you know, hubby said that to me this afternoon, the BB. From there it might jump to the kids. From there it might jump to somewhere else. God knows where. Nothing wrong. It's the nature of the mind. Let it happen. But don't think you are making it happen. You're a bystander watching it. And that is how all your mental and psychiatric problems will disappear by just watching it and letting go. Let go. Because there's nothing in this world that you can hold fast onto. Nothing. Show me anything that you can hold onto. Nothing at all. You buy a beautiful dress, hmm? right? It's going to last a little while, and you let it go. Hmm? You have lovely children. When they grow up, they get married, perhaps, yeah? and gone they are. You can't even hold yourself. You also have to go. So let go. And if that is the attitude a man could develop, a person could develop, I just let go, then you will see how much happier you will become. Because when you let go, hmm? John says something to Jill, hmm? which might hurt her. Let go. It's not me that said it. John said it. Let him take the damn burden. Hmm? It was thrown at me, but I'm strong enough not to allow it to hit me. I've let go. So when we let go of the personality called soul, when we let go of the turbulence of the mind, we find that stillness which is forever there. And finding that stillness which is there, even the stillness momentarily, it will grow bigger and bigger in its expansion. And when it expands so much, nothing can bother you and nothing can hurt.